What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Trials of Osiris rewards for this week on all three of my characters. So this weekend was the first weekend of Trials of Osiris, the new Crucible event that occurs every weekend ever since the House of Wolves DLC came out. So pretty fun game mode, it includes the new Elimination game mode which includes uh, One Life and Revives are on. Uh, so it's pretty competitive and a lot more strategic and it requires a lot of teamwork to uh, do well in this event. So I enjoyed the event a lot. It was pretty fun and I'm going to show you guys what I received on all my characters from playing in Trials of Osiris. So uh, this is the lighthouse on Mercury and it is the new social space. Uh, some of you guys might have seen it from other people or you might have came here yourself already. And basically, the way you get here is you have to have a passage or a scorecard that says 9 and 0 on it, 9 wins, and 0 losses. Um, you are able to get 1 loss if you did buy that one boon that removes one of your losses. Uh, so you can forgive 1 loss, but if you lose more than that, then you aren't able to make it to the lighthouse. So uh, it's pretty cool. This area looks pretty neat and well designed I hope they implement it later in the game because it looks like a cool area and I also wish that we could have seen other guardians besides ourselves and my fire team here uh, because it's nice to see uh, who else can make it to the lighthouse as well so uh, this is the first time we got here on my first character so we're just exploring the area taking a look at all the stuff that they uh, put into this new social area and it looks pretty well designed and uh, also what you're able to get when you come here is you're able to get some loot from that chest uh, in the middle that we're about to uh, open up so pretty cool um, you're guaranteed an etheric light from this chest as well as an exotic emblem and another thing you're guaranteed is an elemental primary and I believe this is the only way you can get the Trials of Osiris elemental primary weapon so on my first character on my hunter on the lighthouse chest, we were able to get the messenger, which is the pulse rifle, and some passage coins and motes of light. Unfortunately, I didn't have room for the emblem, so I wasn't able to get it. And uh, my etheric light was sent to the postmaster because I also uh, didn't have room for that. And then, since we also got 9 wins, we were able to get some rewards from Brother Vance as well. So, for the Stone Tier and the Bronze Tier rewards, pretty much all you get is uh, Mozolite and Passage Coins. And then, uh, for the Silver Tier and the Gold Tier, you're able to get some cooler stuff. So, from the Silver Tier, I got the Etheric Light was sent to my Postmaster. And I got Passage Coins and Mozolite once again. I believe you can get an Exotic from one of those Silver or Gold Tiers, but I'm unsure about that. And then for the gold tier, we get the Astro Horizon shotgun along with more Mozolite, more passage coins, and the Etheric Light once again getting sent to my Postmaster. So the Astro Horizon is the new uh, Trials of Osiris shotgun. Looks pretty cool. Has high base stats, high impact, and uh, decent range as well. I compared it to my Felwinter's Lie as you can see there. Uh, so it's pretty good. I want to level it up and try it out and see how good it is. So that's pretty cool. And then going into my second character on my Warlock, again I was able to make it to the Lighthouse with a 9-0 scorecard. And this time we pick up the Eye of Osiris, the Messenger again with some Passage Coins and Motes of Light. And once again my Etheric Light was sent to the Postmaster. Uh, so I ended up getting the Messenger again and this time it had Arc Damage on it. So um, I believe my first one was also Arc Damage so that was kind of unlucky for me. I got the same gun with the same element uh, two times but this time I made some room for my uh, emblem so I was able to get it and equip it and then going into the rewards from brother Vance again the stone and bronze tier we pick up some passage coins and motes of light and then for the silver tier we get some motes of light strange coins or not strange coins passage coins and the etheric light and then for my gold tier we get the same thing plus a gloves of the exile gauntlet for my warlock so that was pretty cool i got the gloves and it also has increased reload speed with heavy weapons so that's pretty cool i can't wait to level it up and utilize that in uh, crucible and then going into my last character on my titan unfortunately we didn't make it to the lighthouse so all i got was the rewards from brother vance but i still might try to do it later uh so from the silver tier we get the etheric light passage coins and motor light and then from the gold tier, we end up getting the Exile's Curse 
fusion rifle along with the Etherclite, Mozalite, and a Passage Coin. So that was pretty cool. Got the Exiles Curse uh, fusion rifle and it has a high charge rate or a low charge rate, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, it probably fires really quickly and it also has enhanced battery, I believe, to make it even quicker. So I can't wait to level this up and try it out. And uh, I might actually go ahead and uh, play Trials of Osiris in my Titan again. Try and go for that uh, flawless because we did lose a couple times, so that was unfortunate. Um, I wasn't able to get all three Lighthouse rewards, but um, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I got some Prisoner Elders rewards coming soon. I still got to finish some of my challenge modes for that, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.